During the belated Women's Day celebration in Fort Porto, State Minister of Ethics and Integrity Akelo Rosely emphasized that despite the common portrayal of women as victims of domestic violence in the country, men have also experienced significant suffering at the hands of their wives. Don't forget that our men also in this current situation are suffering. I have been hearing all the poems here we talk about the women, but let's not forget about the men, because what is taking shape now, even these men here are being battered by us, the ladies, whether you want to accept it or not. That's why we get some challenges of domestic violence. According to the 2020 police annual report of the 18,872 people who were victims of domestic violence, 3,408 were male adults, while 1,133 were male juveniles. The report also stated that a total of 440 people were killed as a result of aggravated domestic violence, of whom 213 were male adults and 33 were male juveniles. The Ethics and Integrity Minister said there should be a clear roadmap where both the girl child and the boy child are uplifted together. To continue holding into the programs of government, there is a MIOGA, there is PDM, there is WEB, there is the YLP. So I want to hide you, all the women, either you are a youth or you are a woman, can we involve ourselves in these programs which government has, has brought? According to a report by Global Press Journal, many men experiencing violence are ashamed to go to the police or seek help for fear of stigma. The same report indicates that those who reported cases to police were laughed at by the officers before being asked to record statements. Helen Kamwine, the Fort Porto Resident City Commissioner, revealed that some women have mishandled the emancipation they were given by the government to mistreat men. <laughs> Despite the ongoing efforts to combat domestic violence, Betty Mojungu, the deputy mayor of Fort Porto, emphasized that its persistent caused a dark cloud over the aspirations of millions of women in the country. Violence persists and this casts a shadow on the aspiration of millions of women in Uganda and the world at large. Empowering women is not just a moral imperative. It is also smart economics and essential for sustainable development. According to the deputy mayor, addressing gender inequality calls for measures to address the root causes that involve efforts from all levels of governments, civil society and individuals. Gender equality, honorable minister, we must address the root causes of inequality and discrimination. This requires concerted efforts from all levels of government, civil society, the private sector and individuals alike. Linda Irene Mugisa, the Fort Porto Woman Member of Parliament, revealed that Women's Day celebrations came at a time when women are facing a number of challenges that range from lack of market for their goods to limited funds to run their businesses. We are working very hard, but as women leaders, as women entrepreneurs, we still have a challenge of market. We don't have the market both internally and internationally. So we request you, our chief guest, when in government, this is something that needs to be addressed. That women have embraced all programs, all government programs. Women are utilizing the funds that government are giving them, but the challenge is still with the market. Now.